If you are not fond of okras, then I must say that this recipe may change your mind. A special spice blend makes this dish extremely delicious and aromatic. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. And today it is all about making okras taste delicious. Let's first make that special aromatic spice blend. Heat a pan over low heat. The spices go in one by one. Two teaspoons of coriander seeds, that is dhania, for that citrusy kind of flavor. A teaspoon of cumin seeds, that is jeera, for that earthy, smoky kind of flavor. Half a teaspoon of fennel seeds, which have this beautiful licorice kind of note to it. And one tablespoon of peanuts. I have used raw peanuts, but you can also use roasted ones. Toast everything on a low heat, stirring them continuously till the spices develop a little brown color on them and become fragrant. Please do not allow them to turn too dark in color, as then they will get bitter. As soon as you see them turning slightly brown, immediately take the pan off heat and without any delay transfer everything onto a bowl. My friends, please remember not to let the spices sit in that hot pan even after taking it off heat because the seeds will burn getting that residual heat from the pan and then you will end up getting a bitter tasting spice blend that will make your whole dish taste bitter. Allow the seeds to cool down completely and then grind them in a spice grinder. Please do not grind them too fine into a powder nor should it be too coarse. It should look somewhat like this. Okay, let's start cooking now. Pan on medium high heat with 3 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil turns quite hot but not smoking hot, reduce heat to low and add pachforun. Pachforun is a Bengali 5 spice blend. I have a video on it, the link to which I will be leaving in the description box below or it is running in the YouTube card above. If you do not want to use pachforun, you can also use cumin seeds that is jeera. You need to allow the seeds to crackle, only then the oil will become flavorful. As soon as the spluttering sound reduces, add Mr. Potato. Now potatoes are optional but I love using it. Stir the potatoes on high heat until they start getting little golden brown in color. As soon as you see the edges turning little golden, lower the heat to low and add a teaspoon of chili powder and a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Notice how I added them in the oil to bring out those colors, but please do this on very low heat. Stir just for a few seconds and then it's time for the okras to enter the pan. I have a mix of small and large okras here. I have kept the smaller ones whole and the larger ones I have cut them into half. I always wash the okras first before cutting them. I even pat them dry with a clean cloth after washing them and then cut them. Fry the okras on very high heat, the highest you can go. In that way you can get rid of the slime. Initially you will see these strands of slime, but the more you stir on high heat you will soon see the strands disappearing and that's when you can cover your pan. Lower the heat to medium low and let it get cooked. From time to time uncover, increase the heat to high, stir, reduce heat back down and cover again. When you feel the potatoes have started to get little tender, that is the time when you can add salt. If you add salt in the beginning then your okras will get slimy and you will fret and fume if you dislike that slime. And then you will go down to the comment box and type in an angry comment. No, 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 that's why I'm telling you to add salt later. Okay, the potatoes have become soft and I can see one of the okra that is falling apart. So it's time to add the aromatic spice blend that we had prepared earlier. I also added a fourth of a teaspoon of red chili flakes, but this is totally optional. Stir gently so that each piece of potato and okra gets a coating of that spice blend. Cover it on low heat for 3 to 4 minutes. Four minutes done. Uncover. Sprinkle some fresh lemon juice on top 
and you've got this very aromatic dish packed with flavor. And when you bite onto a potato or okra, those spices will be welcoming you with all their goodness. Please try your best not to allow the okras to fall apart. One or two falling apart is fine, but most of them should stay intact or else the dish will not look appealing. Bye-bye.